So everybody, welcome back to the final part of the base game of Tomb Raider 1 Remastered and also the penultimate part of my Tomb Raider 1 series because we will be doing unfinished business after we finish these the strand of levels. From the cutscene, uh, well the previous cutscene, Natla and her goons have taken all of our weapons so the first part of this level is going to be spent reclaiming our arsenal. Thankfully, all of our small medipacks and large medipacks are still here, so we've, at least we've got that going for us. But the first part of this level, we're just going to spend re we're going to just spend a bit of time just to reclaim the pistols, and then deal with Natla's goons one by one. Let's go. So the first thing we're going to do, we need to come over to this waterfall because there is a hidden platform behind it. Pull this lever over here. And you'd think we'd have to actually run up to the next platform up here, but we don't. We actually have to run down here for where we need to go next. I hope you guys can hear me a little bit better this time. I have to be, I have been tinkering with the mic quality and the audio a bit over these uh, for this last uh, part of the playthrough. I think the last the last video I did the quality actually went back a bit. I think the second video was just right, but the, the third video I think the the quality was just that little bit lower just so we people could notice it was not quite as good as the second one. So I'm hoping for this last pass, I think I've got it just right, and we found a we've got a perfect mix anyway. So you can hear my voice, and you can hear what's going on in the game. So come down here. That door was the one that we just opened with that lever. We're going to pull this lever now. I also found out in the pre in you know we talked about the patch that was in the game in the previous episode. They actually fixed the keys. If you remember in my uh, second video which was covering the grease levels the key was almost the keys are almost invisible on the remastered settings um, but now they've actually patched it so they're a lot more visible so the the complaint that I had the main complaint I had for the remasters has now been uh, fixed which is good to hear at least it shows at least it shows that they're willing to um, still go back now with a with a released product and still change change parts of the game for the better just from a quality of life perspective anyway that's um, it's welcomed so try to make sure that you jump to the left of these barriers here just because just because of how the barriers are the hitbox is a little weird on them um, if you just glance the edge of the right hand barrier you can actually fall down that slope below and back into the water so you just want to just position yourself just a bit more left than what you would normally do for that jump and then you should clear it no problem. What we actually have to do is kind of hinted at in this next part so that booth up there is actually where Lara's pistols are housed to get up there we need to find three fuses and these fuses go into this other booth over here so once we found all three we're able to get reclaim our pistols and then we can at least be able to fight Natla's goons and reclaim our other weapons when you come into this room there is a movable block here where we want to go is over to that building over there it may look, look, look like nothing's there but there actually is but let's just pull this block over here first and you'll see exactly what I mean. Roll backwards just to give ourselves a bit of a run up. And then we should clear it fine. There is a collapsible tile here. Just be careful. Might want to just quickly dash onto it and hop back. I don't think it's too deep. No, it's not. But our first few should be down this corridor here if memory serves
Right, so lever. <coughs> right, so that's moved the boat out of the way. Yeah, we're going to take a little bit of fall damage there. It doesn't matter. Do we have to go through there or do we go back to the boat? We'll go through here first. I think we can do this one without having to go to the boat. No, we don't. We have to go to the boat first. Tell a lie, chat. Yeah, this first part of the level is in, is quite repetitive. We have to go backwards and forwards just to pull the right lever, just to go into another door that's entirely out of the way, just to come back on ourselves and go to another door that's in the area that we were in before. So, yeah, a little bit of backwards and forwards here. It'll all serve a purpose. So... I think we can climb up here. Yes! And I think we go behind this block here, yes. So where the odd block is in the room, you can actually pull, pull that. Let's find, let's pick up these magnum clips quickly. And then we can move this block out of the way. So now that we've picked up the clips, I think we can move this block over to the left. And I think there's another block behind this one as well that we need to move. Yep, so we can move this one over to the right, and then hopefully the way should be clear. Should that that should do it. And then there's our lever. Right, so where that machine has just moved back, that's actually going to take us to the first of Natla's goons and also where the first fuse is. Until we get the pistols, we want to avoid them as much as possible. Don't even engage with them. If it can be at all, if it can be at all done, don't engage with them until we've got our <coughs> pistols back first, because you've got no way of fighting them. I think we need to push this block forward rather than backwards. Yes, yeah, we. Right. Um. Do we? Jump up onto that block. I think we do, but we'll run through here first, because I think this is where we need to pick up the first fuse. Yes. Yes, so. This is actually the first room. Well, this is the room where you'll first encounter one of Natla's gooms. The cowboy, I believe, and he has your magnums. However, we can safely go and get this fuse, providing that we go up to the, only the fuse and don't progress any further. Pick it up, and then let's make our way back. If we go any further, we'd have to fight him. Now let's go up here. So we've got one, and then we've got need two more. Get used to seeing Uzi clips a lot in these segments of levels. There's loads of Uzi ammo in these in these three levels. 
and we're going to need to use these a lot for the partic particularly for the last two levels. So if memory serves, I think we need to go back to the waterfall now that was out here and then I think the way should be clear. Actually, I don't think it is the waterfall. I think it was the room where... You'll s I'll show you where. It's always better to show than to tell. I'll show you where it is. But it should lead to the second fuse. Right, so now we're back into this room. And then where we need to go is over here. You can see what I mean when I say this first part of this level is a lot of backwards and forwards. Right, well there's our prize there, but as you can see it's stuck on a conveyor belt, so what we need to do is get the conveyor belt working. Come through here, come through this gate, press this lever, and then this should do the trick. So follow the conveyor belt all the way to the end, and then there is our second fuse. I don't think that leads anywhere. Just double checking. Right, to get the final fuse, this is probably the trickiest one to get. We have to come over here. I recommend that you save here. You'll see why in a minute. This door will open automatically. Right, this room is very interesting. This is the first room... This is the first room in the game where the room is resettable. So all of the hazards in this room can be reset. What we have to do in this room is we have to get to the very, very back of the room. There's a series of boulders that trigger, but if we get there too slow, the boulder will actually block our way and we won't be able to get the fuse. So it means we'll have to go back into this room to reset the trap so you can do it all over again. Just so you can beat the boulder at the end of this path. I'll try and do it first time so I can demonstrate. But as you can see, there's quite a few hazards in this room that can, such as the, the barriers ahead that will just make it just that little bit more difficult for you to beat the boulder. So hopefully we'll be able to do this first time, but wishful thinking. So let's go. <laughs> Don't worry about that boulder there. This is the one you want to be down here. And as you can see, we just beat it, and that would have blocked our way if we were too slow. And then here is the third and final fuse. So now we need to get back to that booth and reclaim our pistols. Whoa! Oh, that was close. You know, you know, guys, I completely forgot about that trap, in all honesty. <laughs> I think there's another one up there as well. But I think at least we're ready for this one. <sighs> Get used to seeing a lot of boulders, tra boulder traps in these levels as well. God, that was a close one, chat. That got my heart pumping then, that did. <laughs> Right, and I believe we can go out the way we came, if memory serves. I think we're I think that's not certain death down there, so... <coughs> but as you can see, those barriers are quite tricky to jump over. Okay, we can't go out this way. <coughs> but now that we've got the fuse, we don't need to <coughs> reset this room, we can just... Yeah, the way out's over here. Oh. 
Sweet. So, let's go over to this booth then and put all these fuses in. If you look up there, there's actually a pathway. When we drop the booth in a minute, we can actually go up that pathway and that will take us to the first secret of this level. However, it's not that straightforward as you'll find out. So let's put all of our fuses in. Because Lara needs to be able to defend herself for the gauntlet that awaits her over these past few levels. Last one should do the trick. Some always welcome magnum clips. And then we'll put the last fuse into here. Sweet. Well, again, the game's even given us a large medi pack as well, which is great. Right, time for some payback. So now we've got a way of defending ourselves anyway. So what we need to do now is go back to that room where we got the first fuse to go and fight face off against Lara's Lara, Natla's first henchman. But before we do that, we're going to come over here because we need to go and claim the secret that I told you about. Let's save first. Now this path here is not actually the secret. The pup, the secret is actually up here very sneakily put up here. You could run through there and think and think that this path does not serve any purpose. But if you look here, it is sneakily up this ridge here. But that isn't the end of it. That's not the main part of the secret. Right, this is a very devious little trap. You've got two slopes here, and then you've got a trap door there. Once you start to slide down that slope, that trap door will open. So what you need to do is jump backwards and forwards between the two slope slopes until the trap door re-shuts. And then from there we can vault up onto that ledge up there. So to demonstrate. If you fall down that trap, for, trap door, a fiery fate will await Lara. So trap doors back on, quickly jump up here. And this is the first secret of the level. Good one, huh? Yeah, we're at the stage of the game now where it's not going to make it easy for you. Right, what that will do is re open the door. We can safely jump back on this trap door here. So we haven't got to worry about it giving way. Right, and I think we can go this way, just because it makes getting back, I think, a little bit quicker. Actually, I remember the reason why this was here. In the original game, there's actually a save crystal here. There's a save crystal right here where I'm standing. But obviously we don't need it. Not in this version of the game, anyway. So, to be honest, that path doesn't really serve a purpose other than to come back here quicker. Right, this first... The first henchman to deal with is the cowboy, and in my opinion, he's the hardest one to deal with. Not because of him himself. He does have the magnums, which have better firepower than the pistols that you have. But it's because of the the arena that you fight him in. It has a ton of hazards. Slopes, pitfalls, you name it. The, the terrain where you have to fight in is extremely dangerous. And when you're trying to get round the back of him just to just to get round the back of him so you can shoot him without him shooting you, it can get quite difficult. So hopefully I'll be able to do this first time. So when you're fighting human enemies, same tactic like with Larson and with Pierre, try and get behind them just so they're unable to shoot you, but you can shoot them. So if you can, just run to the back of them and just stay on their rear. 
then that way you'll be able to get more damage in over them getting more damage in over you ain't nothing personal there he is so remember the tactic just try and stay behind him as much as you can just because he's got to reposition himself in order to get a shot on you but as you can see, there's loads of little pitfalls here. It's so easy to fall down if we're not careful. As long as we stay to his rear, he cannot shoot us. He cannot hit us. Just like that. All that firepower doesn't matter if he can't actually hit us. And then we can reclaim the magnums. So that's our magnums back. And plenty of ammo with it. I'm very pleased I was able to do that first time because in my opinion this is the trickiest fight. Just because you've got a pit four trap there, you've got a lava ridge down there. Yeah, very very dangerous arena to fight in. But now that that's taken care of, where we need to actually go is down here. And this is where the level starts getting very tricky, terrain-wise anyway. So let's save. And we actually need to come down here. Drop to this ridge, carefully. If memory serves, I think we have to drop to the platform below and then grab the ledge. Yes. <laughs> We've got a shimmyable ledge here, so let's follow it. They pay very close attention to the slopes reason why is because we need to be very careful just how we land here because one false move is going to send us down the slope and it's going to send us into the lava so I think this is a bit flatter than the other so I think we can drop here yes so I might just save here as well just to save a bit of time in case we screw up and then we got another shimmy ball ledge here We've got quite a very we've got quite a tricky jump coming up in a second. And it's on this block here. This block is where we need to go. So drop. Right. Now this this platform is Yeah, it's it's a it's a trickier jump than it looks. Do need to take a run up here, but if we hop backwards, Lara will not run off the platform the standard way she would if it was a standard running jump. She actually hesitates at the very end of this platform, which means that you might miss the jump entirely if you don't position it correctly. I think this is the way to do it. If memory serves, well, let's find out. Or actually, can we just jump straight across there? No, I don't think we can. Not quite, anyway. Let's just do it the way that we would have done it. Remember to hold the wall button down. Here we go. You see what I mean? It's a very deceptive jump because you think that you've done the run up and then Lara will just stop and then just make the jump and it would just be a standing jump. So yeah, the jump is very deceptive. So let's go back to where we were. I 
I think if we do it off the most raised point of the platform, I think we might make it. That's probably why it's there, actually, thinking about it. There's a little raised segment at the edge of this platform here. That's probably what it's here for, this little bit here. Anyway, let's try again. We'll save, actually, just because I can see us screwing up a few times here. Right. That's better. But awkward little jumper. Somehow Lara's hands are uh, not burned from shimming across that ledge. And on we go. Is there a boulder trap here? Mm. Getting a bit paranoid. It seems like a boulder trap would be there, wouldn't it? Maybe not. Yeah. That's a bit of PTSD from boulder traps in the segment of levels for me, chap. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, there are a few uh, nasty ones in these levels. Right, so, we need to actually come this way. Try and avoid the spitting lava. It doesn't actually do too much damage if it hits you. So don't worry about spitting lava too much. If you fall into the main lava though, yeah, you, you will not come out of that. The spitting, la the spitting lava isn't actually too bad. Right. You want to aim for the flat blocks here. So the left one, as you can see, is a bit of a slope, but the right one is a bit flatter. You always want to aim for the flatter block. So in this case it's the right hand one. <laughs> okay, we're back here again. <laughs> Honestly thought a running jump there was the best thing to do, but never mind. So as you can see, yeah, the game is very unforgiving now, but we are almost at the end. Only got two more levels to go after this, plus the DLC, so, yep, the, the challenge is certainly hotting up now, no puns intended. Okay, and we're actually not far away from the second secret of this level either. So, don't do what I did and do a running jump, we do a, a standing jump. <laughs> Grab the ledge, pull yourself up. Right, let's aim for that middle ledge and then the second secret is actually on this platform there to the right. Right, in this room you want to act quickly. There's a pushable block at the end of, this, at the end of that room, you want to push it in as soon as you're able because if you're if we dawdle there's a boulder that's going to roll down the slope here and get us so you, we've got to be fast <coughs> and there's the second secret and we just need to get up to this ridge up here so I think we need to pull this block, I think. <laughs> There's actually a secret shotgun in this room as well. We don't actually have to get it here. We can get it off one of Lara's henchmen a bit later, but getting it earlier is definitely welcome, because at least we've got better weapon rather than the pistols to fight the other two of La um, Natla's henchmen with. So we've got a large medipack here, 
and some oozy clips. And is there anything else here? I think that's it, I think. But the main secret that we're after is actually down this corridor here. So now we drop down into the shaft where the boulder was, and then this is where the main secret is here. And a great reward as well, we got some Uzi clips, a shotgun and a large medipack as well, so very rewarding secret. We can't go back the way we came, where the boulder is, so we're going to have to jump back up here. Silly. <coughs> and I believe this is how we get out. Yes. So that's secret two of three. save here just because it'll be a bit of a pain if we have to go through all that again so same tactic as before go for the flatter block so in this case it's the right hand one and I think a running jump will be fine here yep okay so this time it will be the left hand block Aim for the flatter block. Sweet, we made it. Yeah, let's save here again, just because there's a little slope, there's a little lava pit here. Before we were a goner then. That was lucky, wasn't it, chap? <laughs> right, so this is the block we need to move. This is the TNT block we need to move. This TNT does serve a purpose. be blowing these up in a bit just to change the layout of this room in fact I remember what we need to do we need to pull this TNT block into this room just because we need it to get up a slope I wonder if anyone who's watching this video can tell me what Tomb Raider Chronicles is like because that's the only classic game I haven't played. I've played 1, 2, 3 and 4. To be honest, I was a bit burnt out when I got to Tomb Raider 4 because anyone who's tried to beat that game will tell you it's, a, it's an absolute marathon. But I uh, I bowed out of the series at that point. I, uh, I did play Anniversary in obviously the Legend series of games but to be honest, I... I was always more of a fan of the originals, only slightly more. I mean, Anniversary and Legend and Underworld, were, I think, were, were still kick-ass games, but but these games, are just they just always have that just that little bit more charm in my eyes. But that's just my opinion. It's all subjective, of course. Right, I have a feeling there's some boulders here, just looking at that slope. Yeah, I have a feeling as soon as we jump up to there. Maybe not. 
<laughs> I've gotten paranoid. <laughs> Just because in this segment of levels you'll see a few scenarios like those slopes there, and then suddenly a boulder will start running to roll, uh, start rolling towards you, and the panic will set in. Speaking of which, there's our boulder. There's probably more where that came from. I think we can do a running jump up here. Right, so we're back in the room where we started, but we're now at the other side of the ridge. And this is what we need to pull over here. And then this should detonate the TNT. As so. Oh, almost missed the magnum clips. And we're going to need all the ammo we can get in these last few levels, trust me. The last two levels are very much a bit of a shootout. Let's save here actually. Take advantage of the unlimited saves. This is at the end of this is this is at the stage of the game where save crystals are quite rare, so if uh, any mistake that you make, yeah, will knock you back quite a bit of time. As you can see, that's blown up that wall there, so we can safely come through here now. And this is where the second of Natla's goons will be lurking. Save your game. You can use the pistols or the shotgun for this, I like to quite use the pistols. Same tactic as before. This is the skater kid, he's a lot quicker, he's got the Uzis, um, but once you get behind him, he has to take a lot of space in order to turn around and to get a bead on you, so even though he's faster, getting behind him is even more effective than what it is with the, the standard human enemies, as you'll find out. Try and get behind him at all costs. comes you firing at me you firing at me huh ain't nobody else here you must be firing at me yeah he's shredding us with those Uzis <laughs> Goodness, he was a lethal little bugger with those things. First time I ever did this, actually, I never took any damage on <laughs> on him, and then this time I took an absolute ton. Nice, nice taxi driver reference, by the way. <laughs> Right now, the third secret is actually in this level, um, this part of the level as well. As you can see, all of these, all of these pits here are surrounded by lava, but there is actually one place over here where there's some water. Let's pick up the Uzi clips first. 
Let's see how much easy ammo we got. Oh, we got plenty. 1,400. Plenty of shots. And we're going to need them. But let's come down here first. This, Because this is where the third and final secret is. This is where we get out. So we've got all of our guns back now. But we've still got one more henchman to take it to take out. And he's right at the end of the level. I just realised this bit here looks like a bit of a skate park, don't it? <laughs> nice to know in an, in an ancient Atlantean tomb, a, uh, when he accepted this job from Natla, the only thing that he requested was a, a skate park he could just fly around in, but <laughs> this game, this game is weird in places. Right, so that's the way we have to go. And I recall there is definitely a boulder trap here, so I would definitely say... Let's see how we do. That was a sneaky one, wasn't it? Oh dear. That was a really sneaky one. You can see why I hate these boulder traps now, don't you? They always catch me out, always. There's a... There is a devious little one. Well, I say a little one. A huge one. In the... Uh, one of the levels in the DLC, there's a, like a, a 15, 16 boulder trap, a giant boulder trap, which I'll look. I'm looking forward to showing you a bit later in the next part of this. Uh, in the next part of this playthrough, it took me a few goes to work out what to do on it. But anyway, now that we're finally through that boulder section, first try. Haha. Uh -huh. No, let's carry on. <laughs> to be honest, I'm a bit annoyed at myself. Um, I couldn't. For I forgot about that bit because that's not the first time I've been caught out by that boulder. The ironic thing is, if I'd have just actually just stopped, I would have been safe. But, but obviously, you hear another one. You think you just gonna, you just you just you think you just got to keep running, haven't you? It was a nice gotcha moment, wasn't it? So let's make our way up. And now we're starting to go somewhere that kind of looks like a, a pyramid of sorts. And that means we're almost at the end of the level. We need to push this block through, put up through here. This part's a little bit of a block puzzle. <laughs> so once we push that through here, we need to... Yes, we need to come up here. I think I remember how to do this. So that door is going to open in a little while, and that is the way that we do need to go. Drop down here, and then we need to push this boulder, um, this block. No, we don't. We need to pull this block. <laughs> no, we can't. 
can't pull it any further. Which means we probably need to go back the way we came. Yeah, so if we hop down here, if we, I think we push this block up. Yeah, I think we need to push this block up, I think. <laughs> yeah. Pull the sleever. <laughs> That'll open the top door that we saw earlier. <coughs> yes, this is the way. Right, with this block this is the part I got confused on. You need to push this block until it does not go any further. <laughs> yeah, so here to here. Run down here. Don't worry about that door down there. That is just there to deceive you. Where we need to go is here on the left, which is this lever here. Don't worry about the door that's behind you. That is entirely a deception. Right, that's the door that we came through. So the other door should be up here. Or is it down here? Down here. And this is where the last of Natla's goons is. And he has our shotgun. We could probably use the shotgun of our own, but I think we'll use the... Use the magnums for this, I think. Say cheese! he was a lot easier compared to the skater kid but as you can see you get in behind them they haven't got time to get a shot on you and that is all of the henchmen taken care of and we are pretty much at the end of the level I think this is the way we need to go we need to climb up here Follow these, um, follow this path all the way up to the top. Let's save here. Just because we're not out of the woods yet. Might be another unexpected little boulder trap, you never know, with these uh, at this <coughs> stage of the game. Come on, Lara. That's better. Sneaky little jumps. There we go. Now, if we slide down this slope down here, do a running jump over to here. Lovely. And this is where we need to go. Yep, pull the lever. I don't think that opens the door to the main pyramid. I think it opens this door over here first. Yes. So, 
Got a couple of items in here. Large mini pack and some Uzis. Uzi clips. Ooh, and a key as well. The pyramid key. Which we'll need to exit the level. And as you can see, we've got a nice juicy amount of Uzi ammo just to carry us through the next level. Along with, well, 40 shotgun shots and almost 1300 magnums. So we are pretty set. We're pretty set to clear these last two levels, no problem, in a straight shootout. So there we are, one down, two to go, levels wise anyway, but the main event is yet to come, this, this level was just a warm up. So that's an Atlas Mines completed, only three kills, only three enemies in that level, three of three secrets collected, missed, the bat, missed a few pickups but that's fine, and then we used a couple of medic packs there just on the... Uh, just because I underestimated the skater kid. Yeah, he, he absolutely wrecked me. <laughs> but here we go then. Here we go then, chat. It's the second level and probably the biggest of the three. It's Atlantis. Right, so now Natal has activated the pyramid with the ski on. The pyramid will come to life. In all of these bags here, there are mutants. So I suggest you get your weapons out ready. Get ready for a fight. But as you can see with the Uzis, the projectile, the projectile mobbies in particular, they just they go down very very quickly. The the mummies, like a melee you, they're still a bit tanky and they're still quite dangerous. But for this level, you definitely just want to use the Uzis on the majority of these enemies because they just they'll take them out so quickly. Just uh, reinforcing the fact that we need to use the Uzis. The game gives us plenty of ammo as well. So we do need to get up to the second level here. And this is the way I needed to remember to go. Very welcome medikits over here. Once again with the last level, three secrets to collect and it's the same with the very very last level as well. Three secrets in each. Oh, a flyer. Two of them. Worth jumping you out of the way of the melee one. They're by far the most dangerous in my opinion. And I think there's a lever we need to pull in this top part of this room. So we'll just come back up here. We need to slowly make our way up this giant pyramid to go and get to the top to confront Natla and to reclaim the ski on. 
Atlantis is a very long level and in my opinion it's probably the toughest level in the entire game even over the last level it's just a giant gauntlet of enemies, traps lava basically anything in this game that can kill you is capable of doing so in this final level so try and bring your A game for this last level take your time try not to rush and just be careful how you use all of your weapons right we're still not done here we've still got a couple of levers to pull well we've pulled two at the top there might be a third that we've missed so we'll go back up there In uh, the expansion, they've actually changed the level order around from the original. So in the original, you would do... Here's our lever here. In the original, you would do Return to Egypt and then the Temple of the Cat first and then the two Atlantean levels at the end. In this, I think it's the reason why they've done this is because of continuity reasons. Because as soon as you've finished the Great Pyramid, it kind of leads into the third level of Unfinished Business, which is, which is Atlantean Stronghold. What they've done is, is they've actually changed the level order, so Atlantean Stronghold is the first level, followed by the Hive, so it would kind of, it's kind of implied that it, fo it immediately follows the end of the game. So yeah, they have changed the level order around in the DLC. Right. As you come into here, as you can see, we are now in the main shaft of the pyramid. get used to seeing these flying mummies. Whenever you come out into the main section of the pyramid here, one of those flying mummies will always attack you. But we need to make our way all the way to the top of this pyramid and it's a long way indeed. The first secret of this level is actually right below us. If you jump backwards and grab this platform, there's a sneaky little ledge down there. If you let go and then grab the next ledge below, this is where we need to go, but we're not quite through yet. If memory serves, there is a... maybe not. I, th I seem to recall that there was a spike trap in this room, but I think it might be the next room. Forgive me chat, I think I'm picking up a bit of a cold here. It's <laughs> It's always the way, isn't it? I think I get my mic just right, you know, and the settings just right, and then my voice now is affected by a cold. So, <laughs> you couldn't write this, could you, from my first ever commentated playthrough, but it's certainly one that Ara will remember. Let's save, anyway. <laughs> right, so... And the secret has very kindly put us where we need to go next. So we have we don't have to deal with that spike trap that was back there. Right, as soon as you jump over to this ridge here, this egg sat's gonna hatch. If memory serves. something that we didn't want to happen. 
Try not to let those flying enemies land on the platform because they'll knock you straight off. We should have learned that lesson from Sanctuary of the Ski Arm when they did the flying enemies just knocked us straight off there, but never mind, never mind, that's why we save. Right, so let's try it again. Might use the shotgun here actually. Rather than the Uzis. Took a little bit of splash damage, but at least we haven't been locked off, knocked off the ledge that time. <sighs> right, to open this door, we actually have to come over here. And you can probably see in the wall that there is a shimmyable ledge over there. So we'll come back over here. Always like taking care of the mummy first. We can actually come over here and open this door first before fighting the mummy, but I always like to do that bit first. Just because they're an added complication. Right, so this is how we open the door. <coughs> More oozy clips. Running theme of these levels, you will see loads of the damn things, so make sure you be sure to use the Uzis. As and when. It's quite plentiful, so don't worry about running out of ammo. Just use the Uzis and the shotgun. <laughs> you don't really need to bother with any other weapons now, just the Uzis and the shotgun. You've saved up all of these shotgun shells for the just for these last two levels. And we've got plenty of Uzi ammo as well. this room there is a, a time segment here there is a door that will open over there as you can as I'm highlighting over there the left hand door will open to open that door we actually have to come into the water down here so we've got to be quick here. There are a couple of boulder traps up here as well, so be very careful. I did notice there was some spikes down here as well. Luckily we missed them and we just missed the boulder. That was lucky, wasn't it? I also forgot to mention there is a secret in this room as well, which is, should have been the thing I should have been thinking about at the start. That door's now closed now, so let's just go and get the secret, and then we'll see if we can just uh, reopen the room and get through there in the normal way. So let's come over here. Jump too far. As you can see though, you just got to get the, the run up just right, otherwise you'll just run over the slope and slide down, so...
the second secret is all the way up here. Come over to this corner here. Large medipack and some Uzi and Magnum clips. Right, so let's go and open this time door now. As you can see, it's quite tricky to get up there. You have to do a very, you have to do a series of calculated jumps across these these slopes up here, and if you don't get the the run up just right, you'll slide down the slope and you'll have to start all over again. So. <coughs> Not easy to rush, but we have to rush because this is timed. Great, we got the run up that time. And we can just jump down there. Great. We're in. Let's save. Right, so this room is going to fill with lava in a bit, but not just yet. We need to come over to here. Vault up to here. Pull the sleever over here, and then it should open the gate behind us. Yep. And then make your way up here. We really need it, but another large medipack. pack. How many do we have actually? 37 and 44. I think we're okay. Almost 2,000 there. Right, so that should fill that room with lava now. But we need to fill the room with lava because it's gonna... It's gonna open the, the entrance to the next room. Try and, if you can, try and be careful coming back this way. Because if you have to, if you fall in, you have to go open the door again. And that's going to save you a bit of time. So just be careful coming back this way. Try and come back this way if you can, just because it will save you some time. Right, now we are definitely going to save again. And as you can see, the room's changed a little bit. So we need to come over here. We need to do a running jump. Slowly but surely, we're making our way up this pyramid. Be careful of this jump here. I believe there's spikes down here. Oh yes. So be very careful. shaft of the pyramid so whenever you come out into the main shaft of the pyramid you're always going to be ambushed by a flying Atlantean so get out the Uzis that was how 
I didn't die there. That's nuts. How lucky am I, Jack? Good God. I had no idea that was there. Ooh, that got my heart pumping. Running jump over here. More Uzi ammo. As you can see, we, even though we're using the Uzis quite a lot, we're still jumping up in ammo, so use them. Don't even bother using the Magnums anymore now, just the shotgun and the Uzis. Those are your end game weapons. Now, for this route, three of these levers will open the way, while three of these levers will spawn an enemy. So, I, for the life of me, I cannot remember which levers to pick, so this will be interesting. We'll just do a bit of Russian roulette and see what we come up with. <laughs> right, well that's open one. Just keep an eye on these egg sacks here. When they start to move, you know an enemy is about to pop out of them, so just keep an eye on them. <laughs> yep. bad as I thought it would be. Okay, so it's not that lever. <laughs> I think we've deduced that. Right, that's one of them. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, that has triggered one of the egg sacks. You can see it starts to move over there. That's when you know an enemy's about to jump out, when it starts to move. Let's go and take care of him quick. clear now. Jump in before that sack opens. Whew. this pyramid it's like a giant living thing if you like look at the walls you, they're moving you know and it's they, they look like it's it's filled out of blood and with veins and whatnot it's like the pyramid is alive creepy huh right so this room here just like in Natla's mines it's another resettable room so it's, a boulder is going to roll down that slope down there And that is going to block the way. So what we need to do is, we need to come into this room to solve this puzzle. We need to pull this block and stop the path of the boulder. <coughs> but we'll also have to run out and reset the room. Just to reset the boulder. And then that should do it. So now that boulder should be blocked. And to get out... I believe it's this way. Yes. Right, so now this should reset the room. Now our block's in position, the boulder should go, shouldn't block our path anymore. There we go. And now we can carry on. Right. I 
I hope there's not another spiked plat spiked door here again because that bloody scared the hell out of me the last time another flyer up there but as you can see we're about halfway up now but we've still got a ways to go and where we need to go is over here next yeah we are about to be ambushed here Swiss cheese. Right, so there are spikes in this pit. We want to aim for where there's the, the platforms are a bit flatter, so where the red platforms are, that's where we want to go. There we go. And we've got quite a few items here for us as well. Even at this stage of the game, the items are still quite generous. Ah, oh, I remember this room. And then we need to do an angle jump. Oh, I think we've I think we've missed some ammo over there. Yes. Uh oh. Now he's taken care of, we can come over here. We need to do an angle jump here, quite a tricky jump. I think a standing jump should do it, I believe. Yes. Good. Is he in the next room? Yeah, get the shotgun out. Yeah, I think he's to the left of us. Where we need to aim is to that platform over here, directly ahead of us. Running jump. Get out of the Uzis. Yes. And he should be over there. I think we can climb up this slope, I think. No, we can't. do too much. Right, so let's come over here. More Uzi ammo waiting for us. A lot of Uzi ammo. I think that was about 300 shots, I think. Yeah, 300. Uh, I think we have to pull this lever first. Do 
just be careful here. There is a slope here. Be very careful. Be, if you're ever unsure about a ledge, always walk to the edge of it. We would have fallen down that slope then if we'd have just carried on running. Really. We would have had a fiery fate. Let's save here. Move this block out of the way. I think we're about halfway through now, I think. Just over halfway through. Boulder, maybe? I don't think the game would be that cruel, I don't think. No. Ah, uh, I should have known. Felt like there was a trap coming up, didn't there? I know I'm saving a lot, guys, but... I really don't want to lose any progress here, so... Slowly but surely, we're making our way up this pyramid. Ah, oh, we took a bit of damage. Nothing that a small medikit won't take care of. Right, let's jump over to here. to come back into this room in a second. I'm just going to pull this lever first. And that's going to change the layout of the blocks. Standing jump here, I think. I think if we do a running jump, we'll overshoot the platform and end up in the lava. There we go. <laughs> Lovely. Another lever to pull. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Forgive my, uh, forgive me, my commentary being quiet. I'm just concentrating. Even now, for this final level, and I've done this a few times over the years, I still have to concentrate. Just because the game in this final level, it really will throw the kitchen sink at you, and the same in the, in the next one as well. Let's save, and I believe the third and final secret of the level is very, very close. Yes. So. In this room, there is actually a timed block, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Reason being is because there's two mummies in this room. Let's take them out first and then we'll have a look at this block. for the uh, the tile to reset but the re what we need to do is come through here as quickly as possible and then the third secret I'm not sure which is the tile that activates but where we need to go is run up here and then it's over here on the right and once again quite the generous find shotgun shells Uzi clips 
and a large medikit. And that is all the Atlanta secrets done. We've only got three more secrets to go, guys, and then that's all the secrets in the game. But we've got all the secrets in this level anyway. Let's save quick. Just to save our progress. Right, for here we have to be quite quick. We've got to pull this lever. Quickly run down here. <coughs> I think we vault up here. Yeah, quick. That was close. Save again. Any flying enemies? No, but as you can see, we're almost there now. Almost at the top. I think this is probably my second or third favourite level in the whole series. My favourite level in the whole of Tomb Raider. Uh oh. Hold that thought. First. My favourite level in the whole of the Tomb Raider series is the Temple of Shihan, which is in the next level. It's an absolute granddaddy of a stage um, in terms of hazards, traps. It's just a brilliant level. Absolutely brilliant. You'll see why when we play it very, very soon in the future. Right, we've got a boulder trap up here. So let's trigger that first. Have some blow darts as well. Right, that's the main threat. We'll get rid of the main threat first. Blow, tar blow tarts aren't too bad. Let's save here actually just because we might die to this spike trap here. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, didn't mean to load my game. Let's uh, go back where we were. How silly am I, chat? <laughs> but thankfully, we haven't gone back far. So, uh, serves me right for not concentrating. Ah, we lost about two minutes of progress, that's fine. But yeah, my favourite my favorite game of the entire franchise is Tomb Raider 2, and that's the one I'm really looking forward to doing the most. And Temple of Xi'an, it's just, it's an absolutely brutal yet brilliant level. Um, I think it's just because the game has such a massive foreshadowing to it, you know, with the, with the cutscene at the start of Tomb Raider 2 that really sets the stage for, you know, the game itself. And then when you finally get to the temple, you know, it's an absolute onslaught of traps and it's, it's just brilliant. I think I think the, the foreboding and the foreshadowing the level itself, it's just, the finale is great. It's a really good finale. Let's just trigger this boulder again. Right, so this room seems like a dead end, but if memory serves, I think we have to pull this first block. Yes, we do. This left that block here. The other two are dead ends. This is the way you need to go here. And we are not far away from the end now. As you can probably hear the met you can hear that sound, that's actually the ski on. So we're not far away at all now, we're almost at the top. Now here is where we need to go. You don't have to pull both of these levers, you only have to pull the one. But you have a quite a nasty trap in either one to face. In my opinion, the easier of the two to deal with is the one on the right. So we're going to do the one on the right. 
You can jump off this ramp, but you have to go down here, so it, it doesn't serve you any purpose jumping off this ramp before this lever, as you pull this lever. So let yourself drop. Okay, so all we simply have to do here is walk to the edge. As you can see, there's a boulder trap here. All we have to do, if memory serves, is jump forward, then jump back. And there we go, that's all you have to do. So now as we go back here, up here, this door should now be... Is that right? I've got to pull something first. But as you can see, the other way, exactly the same. It's just, it's just, pick your poison. Both of them are quite dangerous traps, but in my opinion, that's the easier of the two, just because you've only got to jump forward and then jump back. This is the lever we need to pull to open the door. Sorry, as I said, chat, forgive my cold. It's definitely developing. Never ever have kids. <laughs> Let me just say that now. My son, bless him, he goes to nursery and he's uh, he's given me his cold. He's very kindly given me his cold because sharing is caring. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, nursery is a breeding ground of bacteria and uh, and uh, bugs. And every time my son goes to nursery and get him, gets him well, he always gives it to me. So. Uh, <laughs> Another deterrent in having children, but uh, no, I love him to pieces. He's going to school this year. Uh, he'll be five in September. Yeah. But anyway, let's carry on. Oh. Almost there. Almost there now. Right. This room has quite a few enemies, but in the corner here, there are some music clips. So, as you can see, the amount of ammo we've got, and we've got some more ammo over here. Don't be afraid to use the Uzis. Now, I don't think... I don't think they activate until you pull that lever over there, but we'll, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. bit slow to uh, to realize it was one of them then but right this next room is probably the most interesting room in the entire level so let's take a beddy pack here and then we're gonna get the shotgun out just because if I recall there's a couple of enemies down here and there's a very special enemy in here as well. First and foremost, you want to get to higher ground. Get away from these two mummies if you can. Get to higher ground. Easier said than done. Come up here. I don't think they can follow you in here. Right, now you're up here. Deal with these mummies. Now, there is actually another enemy in here. If you come over here, Lara has a doppelganger of Sims. Yeah, this mutant will copy Lara's every action. If you try and shoot her, she will shoot you back. And you will, as you can see, take damage. And she will take damage exactly like you. If you try and heal yourself, she will heal herself as well. 
but we need to take care of her to get into the next room. So you're probably thinking, how on earth do we kill her? Well, there is a way. What you need to do is come over to these blocks over here. <coughs> Just ignore the doppelganger. She'll copy your every action. So if you leave her alone, she'll leave you alone. Sorry, we need to go over there, not over here. If you leave her alone, she'll leave you alone. <laughs> Just be careful when you come into this room not to shoot her. To, to, to aim at her while you're dealing with the two mummies. Try and deal with the two mummies first. And then this is when you need to deal with her. So we need to pull this lever. That egg sack's just broken up there. Don't worry about that, mummy. He can't come down here, I don't believe. Now that that trapdoor is open, we need to go to the other side now. And we need to make sure that we go over to the other side so that the doppelganger will fall into this pit. This is how we kill her, and this is how we can get out of the room. We cannot get out of the room until she's until she's dead. And then that's how we take care of her. In Anniversary, I recall that they've they changed a little bit of the... Uh, I think they make it into a boss fight in Anniversary, if memory serves. Or a quick time event, knowing the uh, knowing the game. I can't quite remember, and they do something with it anyway. But I thought it was perfectly fine the way it was. But but anyway, we are almost there. This is the last little stretch now. There's quite a few enemies in this last little stretch, so get out the Uzis. Quite a few enemies. Try and, try and fight them one at a time. This room's quite narrow, so I didn't think the left and right jumping trick was going to work there, just because the room was a bit narrow. But that's fine. There's still more enemies here. As you can see, the Uzis just shred everything, so make sure you use them. The shotgun still has a niche as well, but Uzis and shotgun, they're the only two weapons you should be really be using there. Right, so we need to pull two levers here. One opens the door, and then the other one opens the bridge. I believe both of them are timed. And I think it does matter which order you pull them in, so what I'm probably going to do when I pull this lever is I'm going to save my game. This is the end of the level team. Let's just see if there's any items in here first. I think there's just this item down here. But as you can see, we're back at the ski on. And then as soon as we grab it, that'll be the best. Do this. We condemn you, Nathwa of Atlantis, for your crimes, for the flagrant misuse of your powers, and for robbing us of our... You can't, I... ...breaking the free bond of consent that our people are ruled and secured under. 
and invading Teopan and myself with our army, our warriors, empty from our pyramid, so that you can use the pyramid, its powers of creation, for your own mindless destruction. Mindless? Look at you! Neither of you have one squirt of inventive juice in your heads. Wasters. Let's just do it. Tihokan! You use the sacramental place as a source of individual pleasure. As some freak factory. They're survivalists, a new generation. A slaughter heap now. And you, we're gonna lock you in limbo. Make your veins, heart, feet, and that diseased brain stick solid with frozen blood. Greet your eternal unrest, Natla! You won't rest either, or your damned continent! Back again. And you? For a grand reopening, I assume. Evolution's in a rut. Natural selection at an all-time low. Shipping out fresh meat will incite territorial rages again. Will strengthen and advance us. Even create new breeds. Kind of evolution on steroids, then? A kick in the pants. Those runts Qualapec and Tihokan had no idea. The cataclysm of Atlantis struck a race of languoring wimps. Plummeted them to the very basics of survival again. It shouldn't happen like that. Or like this. Hatching commences in 15 seconds. Too late for abortions now. Not without the heart of the operation. No! <laughs> Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. So that's Atlantis completed. Three secrets found, four medipacks used, and we just missed three pickups. But now we have the final level to do, which is the Great Pyramid. And we've got several bosses to fight in this level, with one immediate. First thing we want to do when we fight this boss, you, you want to get out either the shotgun or the Uzis. And I'll talk you through it. So I'm going to pick the shotgun for this, reason being is because it is the slightly faster method if you can train your shots. The Uzis, however, you're able to circle strafe around the boss, which means that you can actually stay clear of its arms and steer clear of it better while still getting damage in. The shotgun, you have to be a bit riskier, you have to make sure that you're fully facing the boss to get a fully clean shot and you have to be a bit riskier. If you know what you're doing, the shotgun will kill the boss faster. While we're fighting the boss, pay attention to your surroundings. You can very easily fall off this platform here. So just try and circle the boss. And as you can see, the shotgun is doing a good amount of damage. Just because he's a huge target. He's a huge target, so the shotgun, the shotgun pellet spread will hit a lot and do a lot of damage. But as you can see, he will still do damage to you if he touches you. Might use the uses now, just to show you the other strap. carefully because he will explode as well so you might want to get a bit of distance away from him. And then 
and he's he bites the dust. So you can use either strategy for that boss. Just that just did that just to show you that both both guns do work really well on it. You can also cheese it if you wish. Well, I say cheese. What you can do is come to the edge. If you hold the ledge, the boss will walk away. Obviously, be careful not to fall off, because there is a, a, a very long drop down there. And you'll hear Lara probably scream for about a good four or five seconds before she meets her death. So, what you do is, if you fall off the left, if you grab the ledge, the boss will move away. And then, whilst he's moving away, you can get a few free shots in. And then you can just jump off the ledge and then repeat it if you wish. But that's another way you can do it. Right, so now he's taken care of. We need to get back to where the ski on is and we need to destroy it. Just so we can end Natla's little scheme to use it. Right, so we'll have to go all the way back up to the top again now and save up here again. This is the very, very last level of the game, of the base game, and there's three secrets to, to collect. This last level is a bit of a gauntlet, but it does take a little bit of a while just to get going. This first little bit is not too bad, but the, the last 10 minutes is an absolute gauntlet. Right, first thing we want to do is, I think we need to move this block. Well, no, we do need to move this block, but it's where we need to move it to. And I can't actually remember. Do we pull it, push it up? No. I think we have to come down here. down here first. Hey. We'll push this block out. And then that should give us a way up. But there's a spike trap above us. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to time this quite well because uh, we've also got a collapsible floor as well. So we need to push this block out, and then we need to go back to where we were before. And then the way should be clear then. And we'll have to pull a leap, pull this block. We'll have to pull this block backwards. And then we'll have to run back, push it, and then that should put us into position to pull that lever up there. In fact, can we climb over it? No, we can't. Because that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Right, so, push this up. And then we have to run all the way back to the other side and pull the lever. And then the first secret to this level is very, very close by. Only three more secrets to obtain now, and then that's it. Right, can we just run straight up there? I think we can, yes. Right, let's save here. This first secret isn't open just yet. What we have to do is we have to work our way up into this room and then there is actually a pressure plaid pad that will release that bridge there. But this pre this bridge is timed. We have to get back quite quick. And then we've got to contend with these slopes jumps. So once again, we haven't got time to uh, to be 
too precise. Just keep looking to your left just to see if the the bridge is actually open. I think it's here, this block here, that causes the bridge to to collapse. I think to well, to say collapse to uh, to open. Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. Is it this next one? Don't worry about the spitting lava. It it doesn't do too much damage. So if it means just jumping through it, just do it. We've got lots of medikits anyway, so. Yeah, so the bridge is down now, so we need to be quick. Quick. Phew! That was close. So that's the first secret. Large medikit, Uzi um, Magnum clips, and some shotgun shells. Right. And then this lever should reactivate the bridge. However, the bridge is still timed, so don't hang around. Whew, that was close. Uh, God, look how close that was, chat. Oh my goodness, half a second later, it would have been too late. Not even that. I think that was literally, if we'd have been like a tenth of a second later, we would have fallen then, but lucky. Right. Let's just make our way through this then. Now we can take our time with these slope jumps now that we've got the secret. As I said, don't worry about the spitting lava too much. It doesn't do much damage. And you've got plenty of medikits anyway by this point, so just just tank your way through. Right, we've got a series of boulder traps up here. Save your game. They're quite nasty as well, and they don't give you much time to react. So to trigger it, you can either run up and then roll back, or you can hold back up the ledge, wait for it to come, and then just run down the ramp. Either way works, although I think the safer way is just to tap back personally, and then that way you won't have to roll and turn back around. I think there's another one up here as well. Yes. Not long now guys, not long. Right, we're almost over the ski on now. So we're back to where we were before Natla knocked us off. Right, I strongly suggest that you grab this ledge. What you need to do is use a medic pack here and try to get up to full health if you can because this drop is going to hurt no matter what you do. Not too bad, but it does take a bit of a chunk off. Now we need to destroy the skier. Let's get out of here. Right, what you want to do is just jump immediately to the right down here. There are some enemies in this room. Completely ignore them. They will shoot at you, just leave them alone, just leave them. You haven't got to fight them at all. Right, this bit's very difficult to get through without taking damage. I suggest you save here, actually, as well. Just because we're through that bit there. But as you can see, we've got to get through this shimmyable, shimmyable ledge. Try and dodge these blow darts if you can. I think they are possible to dodge, but you have to time it just right. Like, it has to be impeccable timing to get past them. Not that they do much damage. But I know it can be done. Right. Drop. Jump. Still getting hit by the blow dart, that's fine. As you can even then, we took a load of darts then, we didn't take much damage though. Right. 
where the swinging axe is, that's where we need to jump. But if you look behind you here, there is a boulder trap here. But obviously with all the noise around us, it's quite difficult to hear the boulder go off. So what we need to do is come down here. Then you need to trigger this trap like this. Pick up the Uzi ammo. Right, so now we've got all the time in the world to get past this swinging axe trap here. Try not to jump too far though, because if you jump too far, you'll end up in the spikes. So try and do a standing jump here if you can. Walk through the spikes. Take your time. Although it seems like we've got to hurry ourselves, but we really don't. There's no time limit. Right, for this bit, you've got some collapsible platforms here. Just because I can see this going wrong. Try and take a, a step back if you can, and do a standing jump, and then that should give us enough running room to clear the next gap. As you can see. Right, to get the second secret of the level, if you look up there, there is a shimmyable ledge. But if you look up here, even on the, the original, it's not obvious, but you could actually grab the ledge from over here. Let's just save, because I'm paranoid. But you can grab the ledge from here. And then if you shimmy all the way across, all the way across, you'll get to the second secret of the level. And then we only have one more secret to collect, and then that is every single secret in this game. Collected. How on earth Lara isn't burning her hands is a mystery. Well, she's a badass, isn't she, so... Uzi clips, and then two large medikits. Not bad. Right, to get down, we're not, we're not out of danger yet. Oh, okay, we've got three medipacks, not two. To get down, you don't want to jump, you don't want to, you don't want to drop yourself off the ledge. What you want to do is hop backwards, make sure you position yourself perfect. We'll save naturally. And then you want to do a backwards jump. Slide down the ledge. And then you'll land on that platform here. You don't have to you don't have to take the shimmy ball ledge here, you can just jump straight across. Right, this bit is quite tricky. You've got collapsible platforms here, a swinging axe and a boulder trap. So we're gonna have to be fast and precise. Once again, save again. And then hopefully we'll do this first time of asking. Let's go. that medikit. Oh, that was close. Right. I'd say definitely save for this bit, just because you've got some lava that's coming and it's going to collapse in the room around you. Try and stay into the middle of the room if you can and try and jump over them. Pull this lever. Try and stay in the middle and just keep jumping and then you'll avoid all of it. clips not far now chat not far right for this boulder trap you've got two boulder traps here you, you want to keep running you will just want to just keep running so you'll dodge the one 
but then you want to grab the ledge of the of the lower ledge and then you will dodge the second one <laughs> okay we missed time that what we needed to do was grab the ledge not jump clear the platform that's fine so come through this again try and jump over them if you can and try and stay in the center of the room Let's grab the Uzi clips that we almost missed down here again. So I think what we need to do is just wait for the just trigger the first boulder and then walk to the edge of the next ledge. Right, so we're okay now. Now we're safe. Now do a standing jump. If you grab the ledge. I know it seems scary there, but the boulder will miss you. Yeah, what I should have done before was just walked walked to the edge of the platform, just to give myself that standing jump. Right, this is very, very similar to the platforms in um, Palace Midas. Only these ones do not go off, so we're just going to have to do a series of jumps just to the edges of the, the platforms here. Try and stick to the edges. If you stick to the edges, you won't catch fire. You will take damage, but you won't. You won't catch fire, but you'll just take a little bit of damage. Right, and the third and final secret of the entire game is in that far hand room over there. To get it, let's save first. To get it, you might think that we need to do a stand, a running jump here, and then keep the momentum of that run to, to clear the, the gap and get into the next room. But actually, we don't do that. What we need to do is actually do a standing jump and grab the ledge. The platform won't collapse yet, but what you want to do is position yourself just to the far right or left of the platform, just so the axe can glance over you when you pull yourself up this requires a good bit of timing luckily when you pull yourself up this platform you've already got your run up so the only thing you need to worry about is the axe and that is the first time I've ever done that perfectly <laughs> I, I thought we were gonna get hit then but uh, we didn't but that is every secret in Tomb Raider 1 remastered so that should be 45 of 45 secrets. That's in the base game anyway. We've still got new we still got un unfinished business to take care of in the next in the expansion of this game which will be the next video. Now we need to beat the game. Let's save. And if you look down there we need to jump into that water pit down there. So take a step back and then dive. Leap of faith. Pick up the Samuzi ammo. Last bit of the game now. Very, very close to the end. But we have to get through somebody first. For this last encounter, grab the Uzis, and as you can see, we got an absolute, we got thousands of ammo. two phases to this boss fight. For the first phase, Natla will fly above you and shoot fireballs at you before coming down to the ground. Try and stay mobile as much as possible. Try and jump left and right, just 
similar to the central battle really, only she's on the move as well. just yet. You might want to come in here and just grab a bit more Uzi ammo. You can't bump off me and my brood so easy, Lara. I think you find I can. This is the final phase of the fight. She won't fly into the air anymore. She'll stay fixed on the ground. She'll just dodge left or right. Don't let her get close to you. Although I'm not keen on sharing her tomb with her, so let's get out of here. The way out of here, jump onto this ledge, and then you've got a series of raised platforms here. This is the way you need to go to get out the level. There are more pickups, but we don't need them anymore. Just because we've, we've beaten Natla, there are no more enemies to, to get. There's no more enemies to take care of, so now we just need to get out of here. And this is the way you need to go. There's no time limit. Take your time on these jumps. Do not rush them. You might think that we there's a sense of urgency to get out, but really there isn't. Just take your time. Grab the ledge, lower yourself down, just because if you go running off there, you can fall really, really easily. So just lower yourself down. Running jump over here. Sweet. Can do a standing jump here, I think. Grab the ledge. Running jump to here. Remember, remember to walk to the edge. Grab the ledge. jump of the game. Walk to the edge, running jump, climb up the sledge, and we have beaten Tomb Raider Remastered with all of the secrets. Slide down this slope, and that is the end of the game folks. Now we've got a cutscene. Three of three secrets, three medipacks used. There are some more pickups in that level, but there's it's just more ammo in the boss arena. Um, I didn't bother picking it all up. But that's it, folks. That's the game completed. We've got one final cutscene, the credits, and then we've also got some final statistics to look at. So I'll, I'll see you very shortly. Ta-da! Right, this credit screen 
there's absolutely no like hidden cutscenes or highlights or anything. It's a very very long, it's about 20 minutes long, like, <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with it here so I'm just going to hit go back. And this is the final statistics of the game. As you can see, 45 of 45 secrets. I think... I don't think I've actually got that many pickups in a playthrough. I don't think I've ever got above 300 before. So we've got quite a few pickups. 7 hours and 4 minutes. 16 medipacks used. I think we got a bit used a bit too many of them at the, at the end of the game. But that was just, just to be safe, really. But, uh... That, that is Tomb Raider 1 Remastered with all of the secrets. That is how you beat the game with all of the secrets. So thank you all very, very much for watching and I hope, I really hope that you tune in next time. Just because we're going to be covering the real nitty gritty of the content of this game, which is Unfinished Business, which is the expansion of Tomb Raider 1. And it's a great expansion as well, so I hope you've all enjoyed it hope you as much as I have and then I'll see you all very shortly for unfinished business but take care all I'll see you all again very soon